about how you knew you were going to have a big game in this game and was confident in yourself. But what do you think was the key to being able to take off the first game and really this time? I didn't take off in the first game. <laughs> I was out there, but um No, I didn't say take off, I said shake off. Oh, oh I thought you said take off. <laughs> That's killer. Um I don't know, just try to push the tempo. Uh try to be aggressive. Um James hit me on the wing early in the game and I, I think I passed up a shot and he was like, shoot it. You know, so getting into the lane, getting a couple easy ones early, I think, uh helped us and then defending. You know, when we defend and we get out and transition Transition, we're tough to stop. Yeah, I, I just think def- defensively, what we're doing is we're communicating better. Um, when we're communicating, um, we know exactly where to be, we know exactly what to do, and um, you know, everything else. Works for itself because you know once you once you're talking, once everybody knows what's going on, there's no way to make mistakes. Um, <clears throat> I think when we started getting stops, you know, we always talk about getting consecutive stops and the way we run out and transition and everybody get behind that three point line. Uh, I mean, obviously, we didn't shoot it as well as we like to, but just the threat of it, you know, when you're pushing it, me, James, and us, and you got Trev, Tuck, EG, all these guys lining up that three-point line, you know, we, we're tough. Chris, it looked like you really hit it up when you were explaining that pick and roll defense, especially the backup center, Bielitsa. Once you got to Bielitsa, you went right after him. Does it really keep her, you did the stats, once you saw he was starting to uh, he's not the center, the backup center. It's usually um, big fella, uh, Gordy, Gordy Jane. Yeah. So uh, we were just trying to get out and transition and try, try to confuse them a little bit, you know. And if they switch, you know, try to go at them. And then if not, you know, a lot of times uh, it's leaving Trevor and them guys open for threes. <clears throat> Well, you know, um, like we always talk about, I think uh, a lot of guys on our team somewhat get overlooked, like Trev, Tuck, Luke, and those guys who who compete and play hard and do the dirty work, the defense. But Trev is a is a pest on defense. You ask anybody around this league, and they know how hard he guards. You know what I mean? I came here because it was so easy for me when he guarded me. But everybody else, you know, he I'm probably the only person he he don't guard like that. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> no, nah, but anyway, um, just him being here, um, we're here. He's here for a reason. You know, obviously James is an unbelievable player, but having a player here like Chris, who is 24/7 basketball, everything basketball, encyclopedia, pretty much. <laughs> you know, just him being out here and competing every day just makes us all better and makes us want to go harder for each other. And um, him being here, he's not like, he's not a person that you can't tell something. You know, if he's not doing things that he normally does, he wants someone to, or people or his teammates to let him know that he's not doing that. So we all, you know, we all just help each other and push each other to, to move forward. I wouldn't have known that till you told me that and looked at this like we just hoop you know what I mean like we just hoop and um, I don't know how many times that's going to happen probably never again you know what I mean but for us he going to keep going he going to keep going and you, you give him 18 shots next game see what happens yeah. so for to me, it's just what he did on the defensive end. It was amazing. He uh, he really stepped up and you know sat down on defense, and that's something that he's been working on all year. He's improved unbelievably, and um, you know him pl- guarding the point guards for us has been has right. been great. All right.
Yeah. Well, I, I, defense is all effort. It's all about effort and will. And, you know, with communication, it just becomes a little bit easier because the effort is always going to be there. If you always have effort, you always give yourself a chance. And that's what we stress every day. That's what we get on each other about every day, just playing hard on the defensive end and everything else to take care of itself. Yes, it is a problem. Uh, what do you think makes the uh, our communication. We talk about it, good or bad. You know, uh, we struggled early making shots, but um, <clears throat> I mean, you have to be around our team to really understand it. You know what I mean? Like to see the camaraderie that we have in the locker room. Sometimes, as a team, it doesn't translate to the court. You know, guys can get real sensitive at times, but we're all so close and we understand the goal and that is one game at a time. But, uh, you know, if I'm in the wrong, they're going to let me have it and vice versa. You know, we always there to pick each other up. Chris, Mike was saying, uh, you're, you're up 2-0. You obviously haven't played the best basketball yet right. in these playoffs. I think we got a lot of veterans on our team, guys that have been in the playoffs times before Trev has won a championship. So um, all we kept talking about in the locker room was, um, you know, the saying, you know, series doesn't start till somebody loses at home. So we did what we supposed to do. Now we got to try and go get greedy and get ready for game three because everybody's always a lot more, more comfortable at home as, as I'm sure they will be. Thank you. Thank you.